Hey folks, in this video, Jenna Malinowski from the Wisconsin DNR, she is a wildlife biologist. She's going to talk about food encapsulating traps, what species they're best used for, what applications, what types of sets, everything you want to know about food encapsulating traps is about ready to be brought to you thanks to Jenna. Welcome to the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies North American Trapper Education course video series. In today's video we're going to explain how foot encapsulating traps work and target specific animals with this type of trap. Always check state and local trapping regulations before setting any type of capture device. Foot encapsulating traps are a very humane tool to capture raccoon and possum but may not be allowed in your state. Read your regulations carefully and consult with a local conservation officer if you have any questions. We also encourage you to select devices that meet best management practices standards. Now let's talk about foot encapsulating traps. These traps are a restraining device and we must think past the catch and plan accordingly. It is our intention to humanely restrain our target animals from the time we place the trap until we check the set upon our return. We must consider everything that could go wrong and plan accordingly. While this device caters to primarily capturing two species, events can occur where other species may be captured. Have a catch pole or other safety device available for releasing a non-target animal, and when successful, plan for the appropriate disposition for a target catch. Encapsulating foothold traps are used to humanely capture raccoon and possum. One of the challenges with trapping raccoon is their tendency for self-directed biting. Opossums are not known for self-directed biting. Trappers are always concerned about ways to reduce the potential for injury while restraining any captured animal. Trapper knowledge and experience created this foot encapsulating design to prevent that injury. There are three basic types of foot encapsulating traps. A square steel box, referred to as the duffers, an egg trap, and a variety of round steel traps by various manufacturers. All are selected for a raccoon and possum in that the bait is hidden within the device. The target species must reach into a small opening and the trigger must be lifted or pulled to be caught. The capture foot is restrained within the structure of the trap, which denies the raccoon access to the captured foot and reduces any self-direct biting. Foot encapsulating traps are set by extending the spring arm into a set position with the trigger inside the trap. Hold down the spring, take the dog, continue to hold down that spring, and then put that dog underneath the trigger. Oops. And now it's set. These traps are compact and tools may be required to set them. Your choice of bait increases the selectivity of the trap. The bait is placed either on or behind the trigger, making the target species lift the trigger or pull it and allowing the spring arm to release. The foot is restrained within the confines of the trap. Foot encapsulating traps are placed in trails or locations with activity. The duffer trap is placed below the surface while the remaining traps are placed in or above the ground. Most bait choices contain sweets or other materials that do not have the ability to carry the scent long distances. Species like raccoons and possums do not respond well to long distance call lures or sense targeting other species like fox or coyotes. This is in your face trapping, so locations are best when the target species walk right into them or may be attracted to them by sight. Foot encapsulating traps are anchored with re rod stakes, earth anchors, or drags. Most raccoon trapping occurs in poor ground conditions such as swamps, moisture saturated grounds, waterways, and shoreline and re-rod stakes and earth anchors need to be of sufficient length to securely hold the captured animal. Flag your set location prior to leaving the area and record the location in your diary, on your phone, or in your GPS. Thanks for watching this video on foot encapsulating traps. Please be sure to check out the BMPs and other trapping resources on the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies website.